Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? Roderick, may I have a word? Thank you for accepting my father's invitation. I wasn't certain you'd come, but it's a good thing you did. I don't trust this, Gwyn. Years of hostility and suddenly he wants a truce. It wasn't like that. I fought for weeks to make this meeting happen. So in other words, he might change his mind. I wanted us to work together, but you refused. So now my father is doing this his way. If you value your life and your family, you'll listen to what he has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Don't threaten me, Gwyn. I'm not. I'm warning you. Tread carefully today. There are lords who wield power, and lords who like to make a show of it. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Your soldiers seem on edge. Well, what do you expect? The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? My lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torrin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me, yes. You look a bit like your mother now. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on. We mustn't keep my father waiting. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Don't show fear. That's what he wants. Ryan for Griff. That's still our plan. I'll follow your lead, my lord. Let's have a look around, see what we find. That's far enough!
What's Lord Whitehill planning? Bloodshed, most likely. We won't go down without a fight. Just follow my lead, whatever happens. Are you all right, Mother? I don't know what Lud's planning, but I'm not leaving here without Ryan. Not when we're so close. I won't just turn and abandon him. Just stay close to Sir Royland. If things do get bloody, he's your best chance of getting out alive. Mother, look at this. This ironwood's cracked. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. Oi! Step away from that! Welcome to High Point. Lord, my men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous, are you? I could ask you the same thing. All these soldiers... Sounds like you're feeling outnumbered. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? Called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. <laughs> if you ask me, I'd say he was envious. Hasn't aged well, though, has it? Stone crumbles, but at least it doesn't burn. Lud, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill? <sighs> no fucking courtesy. Now, tell us why we're here. The ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roos Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. You promised the Boltons, Ironwood. If you can't deliver, that's your problem. If our Warden grows angry, it's both our problems. You Foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. As if he'd protect us. <laughs> if you think you can threat... Fuck you, Lord! Mind your tongue at my table! You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace, and you spit at it. I offer opportunity. And you insult me! I've seen this coming since you refused to kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Iron Wrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch! This isn't the way to Let get what you want! Let me slaughtering your small folk! Funny you should mention Griff. Have you heard from him lately? 
What are you getting at? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. You didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North. You miscalculated, Lord. Now you'll pay the price. If you want Griff back, my brother returns home. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. Bring the boy! Ryan! Mother! Frotric! I... I thought you'd forgotten about me. No! No! What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Let him go! Or I'll have Chris This is killed. not what we agreed. Blame him! Not me. If you want to see Griff alive again... You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? Oh, I ought to kill you right now! Because you foresters never I'm learn. I'm not afraid of you! Can I fucking murder him yet? Try it! Ryan, I said all the hell! Me. Let you! Now, Royland! You wanna see Griff alive? You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourth born? Oh, I want to kill you right now! Because you foresters never learn. I'm not afraid of you! Can I fucking murder him yet? Try it! Oh, I, I said all that! Go on then! Do it! What? You think I want? I know you are. Don't test him, Roderick! Just for all your bluster, all your posturing, you care about your son. Whitey is still a Whitey. You know what, Roderick? You're right. <coughs> Ryan, come here. No. We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. It won't be long, Lord. And when they come, I hope that bastard flays you alive. Hmm. I'm so sorry, Roderick. 